General Colin Powell, I respectfully disagree with you. Obama and the campaign for Obama lied to us as citizens. I'm quite surprised, meaning no disrespect to you. I think you have a right to endorse whoever you want, but um, I feel like the things that you said yesterday in your press conference were really, they weren't even accurate. So you've either been misled or you and I haven't been watching the same media for the last two years. And I've been watching all the major media stations and the cable stations. Um, when they congratulated um, Obama for getting uh, the general Colin Powell endorsement. They didn't mention that there were four other secretaries of state that have endorsed John McCain or over 200 generals that have endorsed McCain. At the same time, it would have been a balance. Or I've heard that Colin Powell's son is supporting McCain. But none of that was mentioned in the major mainstream media this morning. Um, I also wonder if you've been watching the same media as me when it comes to um, the bashing of actually Senator John McCain. You might think that McCain waged a nasty war, but then you weren't watching for the last year and a half while the Obama campaign obliterated its opponents, as it did in previous uh, campaigns. Uh, you haven't seen face, p Facebook or YouTube or Daily Coast or Huffington Post or the CNNI reports where the Obama supporters have come in droves cussing and spewing nasty and racism. You haven't seen how we have been attacked for supporting our candidate. If we said anything against Obama, we were called the racist. Well, I also saw that the Obama campaign pulled the race card viciously on both Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton. I'm surprised they're out campaigning for, for Obama, quite frankly, unless it's just to protect their Democratic Party legacy, because they were falsely treated beyond reason. And now, recently, Senator McCain was, was they pulled the race card on him with this whole thing with John Lewis and, and all these accusations. You know, John McCain may not look as pretty as Senator Obama, and he may not talk as smooth fancy as Senator Obama, but he has been a straight talker. And most of the negative ads that Senator McCain has done against Senator Obama, sadly enough, that the information was true, and you don't want to believe it. Senator Obama is, is doing three to one ads against Senator McCain. And the thing is, they've even proven in the media that a lot of the stuff he put in his negative ads was even a lie. It was actually not true. Let's start with veterans real quick and the, and the whole uh, business of the Democrats uh, wanting to vote down um, FISA, Patriot Act, any bills to do with our national security and some of the fundings for the troops. Even Biden said Obama was way off base to vote against that one. And then the Obama campaign came out against Senator McCain on veteran affairs. Senator M McCain has spent his whole life fighting for the rights of the veterans. And when he shot down bills, it was because of pork and garbage in them, not because of being against his troops. I can't believe you didn't see that. I can't believe you didn't see the last two times that General Petraeus was in Congress, how the Democratic people bashed them and put, I mean, might as well put our secrets out to the Taliban and all, in spite of the fact that the Iraqis... Um, leader Saddam was insidious. He was killing hundreds of thousands of people like ethnic cleansing. He trained hundreds of thousands of terrorists. He stole billions from his people. He posed a total threat to the Middle East. And he even used weapons of mass destruction against the Kuwaitis and would have used them again if he could have, you know, built it back up. He was not a nice guy. And yet people didn't support General Petraeus and let the Democrats bash him. I, I don't see how you didn't see that. And the Obama campaign was very against all of these people. Um, and that's against our national security. Um, the, Senator Obama's ads lied about John McCain's stance on Medicare. He's not cutting the Medicare benefits. They lied in their videos about that. They lied about his energy stance. You know, Senator Obama was against drilling. He was against several other options that now he says he's for when Senator McCain was for these things way before Obama ever spoke. He was with Schwarzenegger for green, green and clean, and he was proposing all these 
things. And he was also for a financial fix for Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. When Nancy Pelosi, Harry Reid, and Barney Frank were bashing in this big economic crisis, they came out and they bashed and lied about Senator McCain. Years ago, he was putting in legislation to stop the mess with Fannie and Freddie, which has been the biggest thing to derail our economy with all the bad loans and the impact on the whole um, financial situation. Uh, Senator Obama was not honest. He's done three to one ads against McCain. So the, the negatives have way outweighed and they haven't been truthful. And now they're beginning to prove that they weren't truthful. What about the associations? In the ads Senator McCain was talking about, they're true. And they're more, they're deeper than the ads have even said. His depths of connections with heirs, millions of dollars he and heirs put into funds for education, for radical type political stuff, and at ACORN, funding groups that support just the Democrats. And they are full of fraud all over the country. And then there's Resco, years of connection with Resco, years of connection with Reverend Wright, and all that radical talk. And they had to know for 20 years they were in that church. You know what? You and I haven't been watching the same media, I don't believe. Even the public financing, he said, he said yes to it, then he said no to it. Were you not watching all of these yes and no's and switchbacks? Senator Obama has lied to us, and you've bought into it, and I'm really sorry about that.